the, the onion. And these are the different kinds of policing priorities in terms of priority. The, the onion. Um, oh, I don't know, really. He actually felt the suicide rate probably went down when I left. <laughs> No, I don't accept the fiasco tour. £15,000 is money, money well spent. I could have had a top-of-the-range Mercedes, but it's not my image. Morning, Anne. They write to me and I, I ignore it. So, Anne... What's happening today and how does that relate to your job? Well, the first thing I'm doing today, actually, Miles, is putting on a layer of nail polish uh, because uh, it's got a bit flaky. I can't tolerate that. I won't tolerate that. I'm yes. so sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it's Mike's fault. Yeah. It's <laughs> because you hide information in great bodies of <laughs> Right, you've got two paragraphs here that actually tell me nothing. Yeah. Whoa! Things I do. Oh! What's my umbrella doing? OK. I'm positive. I'm positive. Here we... You're not looking straight at the camera lens at the moment, if you would mind doing that for me. A bit lower. If we, could, if we can shiver. There, there. Thank you. There, there. I'm very pleased with it. And Barnes, thank you very much for talking to us. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Stupid umbrella. I must get myself an umbrella that doesn't blow inside out. I'm off. I'll see you all. Bye-bye. You're going to come and talk to me? No. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me. <laughs> so what we're saying is, then, to right. keep the number of police officers and PCSOs and staff on the streets, we have to put the council... The council tax will have to go up by 2%. No. We... we no. You are the man in the street. We've lost the audience. We're just blinding everybody with science here. Her wage is money wasted, in my view. Let her resign, and then let's, let's spend her money on some decent local community police. Morning, everyone. Morning. Oh, that's not good, is it? <laughs> Come on, morning, everyone. Morning. That's better, that's better. It's not rocket science, is it? She's beginning to lose the audience. What is it that everybody wants? You can go. <laughs> it's all gradually moving towards lawlessness. Children come down, um, chase them. Uh, I'm not supposed to be doing that. Are we going to have a cup of tea? He surprised me, you know, when he announced his retirement, which was amazing, because I thought this force leaked like a sieve. But I did not get a single inkling of the fact that he was going. It is very difficult for the newly retired, you know. They often take to drink. Because um, there's not a lot else to do. I found the following top tips for surviving retirement. Suggestions. Painting. Sculpting. Singing. My drama group is looking for people to audition for Heidi High. Number four... Clear the slate. It's best to resolve any misunderstandings that might exist in others. Well, you know where my door is. <laughs> and the last one is, if all else fails, get a job. So I'm going to make a cup of tea. I liken it to taking the lid off a tin of paint. You know, you have to go around the edge. Um, so is that an analogy? Yeah. If you've been painting the walls and you stick the lid on a pin, tin of paint, um, to get it open again, you have to keep prising around the lid to take the lid off to get to, get to the paint. Um, and I think the police service is a bit like that. I'm not just in Kent, but everywhere. Um, and I want to open it up. I want to open the tin of paint up to everybody. It's a daft analogy, really, when I think about it. Has anyone got any sugar? No? No. Oh, never mind. I'll just have to do without. <laughs> Ooh. 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 How's that for a pep talk, boys? Very good. Was it? Yeah, was it? I've had my back window smashed in. 
Um, <laughs> what do you think you've achieved? How's, how's it gone? Has it gone according to plan? Well, there wasn't actually a plan, I suppose, Roger. Hello, Alan. Good morning, Chief Council. Um, but what I did want to do is just to say to you this morning why I chose Alan as Chief Constable. Because it was my choice. Actually, I had a panel to help me interview and they gave me their recommendation. But quite frankly, had I not wanted to go with it, I needn't have done. Um, he always seems to make good decisions, even if they're the wrong ones. She is not worth £85,000 a year. Come and show me inside and let me see what's going on. What's the reception been like from people in the street? Good and bad. No, no, we'll go for the good if you don't mind, Lee. OK. OK. <laughs> oh, I would say positive. How long have you been parked up today here? Um, I, I was parked up about, um, about an hour ago, I'd say. It's a one-hour deployment, um, so I'll be trying to do as much as we can in that one hour. And how many people have you seen today? Well, none. I wouldn't go back there, yeah. would you? <laughs> you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> um, we don't see the purpose. Um... What can they do? Have you abandoned the idea of a referendum now? Yes. It's, um, it's too risky, Miles. If you run a referendum, you've got to be sure you're going to win it. A referendum... A referendum... But it's grossly unfair. It can I ignore... Eric Pickles? Um, well, you have to... No, the law says you have to go for a referendum. We are not making it easy for them. Whatever I'm allowed to do without triggering a referendum, I would like to do. I feel you. I don't want to talk to you on at the moment, Miles, if you don't mind. I need to get my head together. That was a total and utter, complete waste of our time. I love sex. <laughs> Dan, look who's here. Following the sad news that Anne can't raise enough money to save police numbers, she's brought in her dogs to cheer up the office. I love doggies. Bit of a treat. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Makes it one smile, doesn't it? Apart from Morella, she's a little bit frightened of dogs, so I think she's trying to hide at the moment. So. <laughs> they love them. Dan particularly loves Ma loves Maud. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Anne says you love them. It's a strong word, but they're good dogs. Especially Maud. She's a little cutie. Which one's Maud? <laughs> okay, sorry about this. It's distracting, <laughs> isn't it, really? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. That's it. Good girls. There's no point in telling them to sit because they won't take any notice <laughs> of me whatsoever. Now they're going to go either side of Mike's foot. <laughs> right, okay. Right. Now, the simple message is, Alan seems to... I think it's disgusting. Same old garbage. Sympathy. What I loved about it was the fact that she ran, but she didn't think the post was a useful one. And I thought that was really great. She didn't want there to be PCCs, quite rightly. Michael was saying that you actually weren't for it originally. For two reasons. One, because. I mean, it cost a fortune. And two was the cost. I mean, it cost a fortune. Shame. And, you know, you can't have any more. Because there aren't the bodies on, uh, in, no. on the books. Well, I didn't sign up for that. Bye-bye. 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 Now, don't knock anyone down, Marilla. No pressure. No pressure there. Hmm? But the onion. <laughs>